Good morning! It's Carly D here and welcome back to Seashell. So today we're going to be doing a little video on an event that we did at the weekend called Keswick Ferry Swim, which was put on by a charity called ABAN, who are all about trying to get locals into going outdoors, whether that's families or whether that's youngsters swimming, doing Duke of Edinburgh, you name it. They're all about trying to get people outside. So Johannes, the organiser of ABAN, got in touch with us as Seashell to see whether there was some way in which we could help. Now, they did an amazing job of putting on a youth coaching camp for swimmers in the local area and we were able to provide them with some robes as they did their free coaching to try and get them up and running so that they could then take part in the Keswick Ferry Swim. So youngsters are able to take part um, at a certain age so the idea was that they were going to be coached so that they could then do this event and hopefully it will spur on other kids to also do it in the future. So we headed to the event with our gazebo, with our staff and with all of our kit so that we could be there to support the day. We also had a few of us from Seashell in doing the swim itself so we could see what it was all about and it was great fun. So I'm going to speak a little bit about what the day entailed. We naturally rocked up a few hours before the opening time so that we could get all sorted up with our kit as you can see in the videos here. It was pretty windy and I was a little bit scared that the water was going to be very very choppy and very very cold because of this. That died down maybe half an hour into us arriving there which was great. There was some rain that was making me think that it was going to be a lot colder as well but people were starting to come in dribs and drabs and it started to become full and busy of brightly coloured people even before we would got into the water. One thing I love about this event is that there are so many people from all walks of life coming together to do an event like this. We ended up having loads of people coming up and speaking to us which was fantastic. We were able to communicate with people from all around the country which was really really good fun and really interesting to hear people's stories of why they got into swimming, why they were doing the Keswick Prey Swim in particular. And it's also great to hear about other events that people are planning to do as well. You get this buzz and energy from a group like this or an event like this where you just want to go out and do lots more with other people as well, which is what it's all about. So after the rain had gone, the event was about to take place. So there was almost a sea of colourful hats and toe floats everywhere as we made our way to start. There were people from all over coming to watch. I think a lot of people from that area at the Keswick Ferry Crossing wanted to come and see. Now, this event has actually been going on since the 1940s, which is crazy. I think before swimming pools became a thing where people could go and train and race in. This is what people used to do. They used to swim from one side to the other and back, but it had to be at the right time of day because of the tides. So this was an event that had been going on for years. It then stopped for 50 years and they then reintroduced it, which is such a fantastic way of bringing the history back into what we're doing now. So as we rocked up to the start line, I felt this kind of, I don't know how to explain it, this energy from everyone. This is something that had been going on for such a long time. So it was almost a privilege to be able to be part of this experience. And imagine what it was like all those years ago when people didn't have wetsuits or maybe chose not to use wetsuits or what the water was like not being able to warm up maybe as quickly as before so it was definitely a really interesting and special feeling getting to the start line what i loved about this is that there were so many different types of people it didn't matter where you were from or what you looked like or what you were wearing people were wearing wetsuits some people were wearing skins so at the end of the day it was up to yourself. For those who are interested in maybe doing it next time, they had times where people were roughly going to be going at so that you knew where you ideally wanted to be at the start line so that you weren't going to get kicked as much because there were a lot of people there. So it meant people could be in the right kind of place. We were all lined up along the, I guess, the jetty and we had the safety briefing and we were told everything that we needed to know before bagpipes started. Then we had a countdown and then we went for it. So there were some people absolutely flying at the start. A lot of other people were just doing it nice and leisurely. 
I will not lie, I thought it was going to be freezing. And it wasn't. Maybe at the beginning when you were first getting in, but as far as cold water goes, this was not cold at all. So started swimming and I didn't really get that feeling of gasping for breath because it was so cold. So at the end of the day, I probably should have done it without a wetsuit. But we all tend to be a little bit safer and I would suggest being safer with something like this. But I think next time I would probably like to do it in skins because the water was warm especially when you're moving that quick too. So what was so nice is that when you were swimming, you could see the Keswick Bridge there and it's so beautiful. Being in the water with a group of people, such amazing scenery, it was just fantastic. I loved it so much. So on the way back, it was a little bit different because I had almost a sea of other people with these bright swimming caps and bright pool boys coming towards me or I was going towards them. The second half took a lot less time to get back so I felt like we were flying or I felt like I was flying along the waves and a few other people said that they felt the same. So it was almost like the hardest part was getting to the other side and then it was actually easier getting back. The swim itself is about 1.2 kilometers and it took me about 21 minutes. I was going nice and steady just enjoying being in the water. For some people it took a lot longer and some people it was a lot less. At the end of the day it's not a race so you can do as you please. You can race it if you want to or you can go as slow as you want to as long as you're safe. Now there is a cutoff time because of the tides so some people will have got to the other side and then got a taxi I guess or a bus journey back around. So there are options for people if they can't get there and back so it means it's a lot more inclusive for people if they want to take part. Getting out of the water there were so many people spectating and clapping and it was a funny position to be in because I've done a lot of swimming like this but it's always been a competition but this was more just doing it just taking part and everyone was cheering and yeah it was a really nice feeling and a great event to be part of. You could also tell that there's other people looking on thinking oh I'd love to do that next time. A lot of people there, that was their first time, and for many, they've been doing this year after year after year. Now, I know a few people where this is probably the biggest swim that they've ever done, and being able to do it in a big group like this really, really helped with them mentally. So I'm excited to see how far they go now, knowing that they were able to complete this challenge. It's actually really good. I wanted to take my wetsuit off, because I was really warm. Yeah? Like, really warm. Yeah. warm. Um, I think I got stung on my foot. And the rocks like kelp and everything everywhere, but it was just nice because it wasn't a race. Did anyone kick you in the face? Oh yeah. Are you? I think I kicked a few people as well. <laughs> but also I went to the front because I was like, it won't be as much carnage. Yeah. The front. How cold was it? It was a really was cold. Well done. I genuinely would have taken my wetsuit off. Yeah. I think next time I would do a little wetsuit for sure. It's too hot. Like way too hot. Now the team at Aban were fantastic at being able to keep everyone safe during the event, pre, during and post. Now, what people loved was post event, there were lots of cakes and snacks and hot drinks so that people could fuel back up. So everyone was able to get changed nice and warm and lots and lots of food. Then to top things up, there was also a raffle that loads of people took part in. We actually gave away some of our merch, which people were really chuffed about. So it was nice to be able to see people having a laugh, having a joke, lots of conversations going on about lots of different things. It was just a really lovely setting and a massive kudos to everyone who took part and to the organizers for creating such an inclusive and fun event. We were really excited to be able to help with the coaching part of the kids program and we hope that they are inspired to keep doing more and more swims just like this in the future. For us at Seashell it's really important to be able to encourage and inspire everybody to get outside no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter what you do, the outdoors is here for you. It helps you so much mentally and physically and quite often it's just having a group or an event or events like Keswick Ferry Swim to be able to get you out there and push you in a healthy and sustainable way. So thank you so much to Avan for having us at the Keswick Ferry Swim. We look forward to seeing all of their other adventures and working with them in the future. 
If you have any questions about the swim or you want to take part or you want to know a little bit more information about what went on, then we'd be happy to let you know. We have a few other events coming up part of Seashell if you want to come and have a chat with us or come and look at our merchandise throughout the year. But if not, come along to our other free events that we put on mainly in the Aberdeenshire area. It would be great to meet as many of you as possible. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Catch you later. Bye.